to Legendary. After spending a couple of days in Seoul, we took a one hour flight to Jeju Island, which is super easy as there are tons of low cost flights on a daily basis. Upon arrival, it's probably best to rent a car to get around the island easily. We started our road trip by driving along the east coast. When traveling, I obviously love to explore the local food variety. We started our holiday with a delicious meal by visiting a cozy restaurant with a great ocean view. It is popular for their abalone porridge, their freshly grilled abalone and abalone sizzling stone pot rice. <laughs> With the sauce especially. I've never tried actually grilled abalone. Mm. Pretty good. Yeah. Don't forget to pour some hot water into the stone pot at the end to remove and enjoy the remaining charred parts stuck to the pot. As a dessert, we got some fried snacks in the form of a dol harubang, literally translated meaning grandfather made of stone. Orange kind of flavor. Halabong. It's called halabong. Sorry, halabong flavor. The inside filling is halabong flavor. Halabong is a sweet and sour special type of tangerine looking very similar to oranges. In some parts of the island, the locals are growing very yummy carrots. Along the coast, you'll most likely find spots with the famous dried squids hung outside to air dry before being grilled on hot stones. The chewy texture and savory flavor are best enjoyed with an ice cold beer while enjoying the ocean view. Hey, cheers. Cheers, To digest, we decided to take a 45 minutes hike to the top of Songsan Il Chubong, also called the Sunrise Peak, and enjoy the beautiful views along the way. It is one of the UNESCO recognized World Natural Heritages. And if you fancy, you can check out the nearby stores to bring some stone figures back home as souvenirs. We also did a quick pit stop at the self-proclaimed world-class fish and chips restaurant which honestly had a perfect crispy batter with beautiful fresh fished inside. Delicious! If you want to do a short hike with a cute little waterfall as a reward, check out the Jongbang waterfall. It is really only a short walk to a cute spot to take some nice pictures. A must go to place when you get hungry is the Sogipo market, which offers a tremendous amount of different food varieties and fresh produce. You can stroll around, take a look, and just order everything you want for takeaway to enjoy it at home. Everyone will definitely find something to their liking. Maybe prawns, pork, fresh sashimi, fried chicken, fried kimbap, octopus, or dessert. Halasan. If you are into hiking, take up this little challenge of about 
eight to nine hours. At least that's how long it took us to walk up and get back down. This footage is from end of March, so still in a relatively cold season. The weather and scenery changed throughout the hike was super beautiful. It felt like starting the hike in spring and experiencing the deepest winter along the way. Walking up Mount Halasan on a beautiful sunny day on Jeju Island. This is amazing. On top, you get rewarded with an amazing view of the crater. And if you want to take a photo with a stone to prove you made it, be prepared to queue up for 30 minutes, like we did. Cheju is famous for their black pork, which is super delicious, but to be honest, to me it tastes pretty much the same as normal pork. If you're lucky while strolling along the coastal trails, you might spot some of the famous Jeju mermaids who go diving without an oxygen tank to collect sea treasures, such as abalone, sea urchins and shellfish to make a living. Enjoy some of the many beautiful cafes on Jeju and inhale some nice brunch food. Make sure to drop by the Osolok Green Tea Museum to learn more about the local tea culture and to enjoy some green tea flavored desserts. Next to it, you will find the Innisfree House offering some discounts on some nice cosmetic products. If you are a beer lover, check out the Jeju Brewery for a tasting session. They offer a cool tasting set, good to pair with a snacks platter. Another cool area to hit up is Ewol, where you can enjoy a really cool vibe with nice food and drinks along the coast. We decided to enjoy more seafood this time, pairing it with some delicious noodles. Thanks so much for watching, I hope you enjoyed the video and I will see you next time.